But yeah, we're going to get into a little bit more about the Reform Funny Moments, the YouTube channel, your production company that you run. Um, but first, we want to do a little newsy news. Yes. J Dog, you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. News, the news, the newsy, newsy news, the 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 I grew up in Greenville County, South Carolina, uh, not but a few blocks from where Southern Baptist Theological Seminary once was. Amen. <laughs> so close and yet so far. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go ahead and go to our, our first one. And uh, we've really picked a, a zinger of a question here for you to start out with. Hi, Dr. Sproul, I'm a big fan of yours. And I met you in 1999, I'm sure you remember. <laughs> and we all would like to know, how many hole-in-ones have you made? <clears throat> well, you are a big fan. <laughs> <clears throat> you need to go on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> I resemble that remark. <laughs> But I would really recommend uh, uh, S.M. Houghton's book, and then your heart is drawn to, wow. Uh, <laughs> the difference between being justified through faith and salvation by grace. Go ahead, Arson. Me? I have to speak on justification again? <laughs> I just, just passed Luther. <laughs> Luther's now in second place. You know, don't just read about him. You can read Calvin, pick up the Institutes. It's, it's been translated into English for centuries now. Uh, and there, there are very good editions, and you can actually read, and there are far too many evangelicals who read about and read about and read about and read about and never actually read. So get into it, it's there. Mm -hmm. 99 cents on Kindle. Yeah, it's a horrible say, translation, yeah. but it's still there. And then that'll whet your appetite for a better translation, it'll cost you a little more. Yeah, I got the 99 cent. Calvin, uh, <laughs> it is worth every penny <laughs> and, and much more to it. <laughs> All 99. <laughs> what does a post-millennialist see occurring at the return of Jesus Christ? What are you asking me for? Well, because the questioner <laughs> said R.C. or Doug. What am I? Oh, or Doug. <laughs> <laughs> the, answer, the answer is lots of cool stuff. So, just kind of a fly over um, answer on that. It's just, it's just God. Wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> now that's why people say, well, why do you do only Bible exposition? And my answer is, what else would I do? What do you want, my ideas? I can't even get my ideas across to Patricia. <laughs> they, don't, they don't even have weight with her. By the way, Chris, uh, while we're up here, we're being photographed for the media here, John. And I just want you to know you're being photographed by the most beautiful photographer I've ever seen in my life. Right, right now. She ought to be on the other end of the picture. <laughs> She's also my granddaughter. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I have a face for radio. I, I just have to say, honestly, I can't connect to these guys at all. <laughs> Uh, because my story is like the opposite of theirs. Because while they were catching balls, I was reading books. But when you got and, saved, uh, you became athletic. No, no, no. Uh, no. 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 Actually, that'll, that'll be the actually, new heavens in the new I, earth. I, I, am, I, I am so horribly nearsighted that I couldn't see the ball coming at me, and I got tired of getting hurt. Yeah. And uh, you know, this, is, this, is, this isn't working. And, uh, and uh, I, I wanted to read, and so I... I got mad the first day of class because of school in the first grade because I went home and I wasn't reading like I thought I could. I, mean, I went to school. Uh, why can't I read everything I want to read? Uh, but uh, when, I, when I got to read, I just want you to know there's, there's no virtue in this for me. I love to read. I mean, I, I snuck, okay, 
I, 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 under cover of darkness, put in a couple of volumes of the Encyclopedia Botanica in the back seat of the car for vacations so that I would have it and couldn't get in trouble once we were on the interstate. It's too late. You can't put them back. Okay, I got them. Now I'm going to read them. And, uh, we, so, used to, we used to beat up guys like that. Yeah. So you two wouldn't have hung out in high school. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I, all I want to tell you is just picture the nerdiest kid. And, and, you know, and, and anyway, I survived high school. I, uh, but, but to all the nerds I wanted out there, to read. There's some hope. I, I mean, mean to give hope. Together. There, there, there yeah. is hope. And I want to tell you, God can use that. Believe me or not, to oh, His absolutely. glory. I pray so. I'm breaking out in a sweat. Uh, but the. Uh, <laughs> The, the reality is, that, I mean, I would sit in school and the teacher would talk and I was thinking, why don't you just stop talking and let me start reading because I can read faster than you can talk. Uh, and, and I just, 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 I'll just do this on my own and they'll keep paying you. And, um, and John Murray's stuff in his four volumes is good. I know you don't like me to quote John Murray, but he, he, he's very good. Well, you think it's kind of jingoistic and Scottish. That's what he said the last time. John Murray, John Murray, uh, you know, he, the last essay he ever wrote is in uh, Festschrift that I put together for John Gerstner. Did you know that? And John Murray also had a glass eye. And the students used to debate about how, how can you just turn which one's the glass one? And the word was, the compassionate one was the glass one. <laughs> So how do we make distinctions between the truth revealed to us in Scripture versus truths or facts we discover in natural revelation or through human experience, for example, laws of logic, scientific discoveries, etc.? And uh, this questioner says, you can let R.C. take a shot at it, too. <laughs> I can what? You can take a shot at it, too. Oh, good. <laughs> I won't need to if you do it right. <laughs> King of the one-liners. Well, we might as well just save time, and you go ahead and answer it. <laughs> Can I ask one other thing? Because I, I talked to a reporter about this the other day, and, and she was completely scandalized. I could just see, you know, the blood was... She'd met one of these. Finally, she'd found one. And uh, she'd heard we existed, but now she found one. And so I decided I've got to... I've got to go... No, these reporters have this National Geographic moment with evangelicals who really believe in Orthodox Christianity. And all of a sudden, go, wow, they do exist. Fascinating species. But uh, at one point, I simply thought, okay, I've got to go ahead. I said, I want you to also understand that I don't think Unitarians worship the same God. I don't think Mormons worship the same God. And I, I said, I went on down. I said, this, doesn't, this isn't a list in which we don't think Muslims worship the same God. We don't think anybody worships the same God <laughs> unless they come to him through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And then there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. That, it's pretty exclusive. Do the five points of Calvinism hold together as a unit? Or can someone claim to be a two-point or three-point or four-point Calvinist? Are you trying to get everyone to hate us? I just asked the questions. <laughs> uh, didn't someone write a book on this recently? Um, my favorite was a, a student of mine many years ago came up to me and said, uh, I'm from Texas, I'm a whiskey Calvinist. <laughs> and I said, what is a whiskey Calvinist? He said, I believe only in eternal security, I believe in one-fifth. I take it he wasn't a Baptist. <laughs> I, I think he was a Baptist. Um. Uh, okay, so the second news story. Okay. Um, Joe Biden's president. Take it easy. Bring it in. Bring it in. Calm down. Don't cry. Don't cry. We're going to die. Oh. <laughs> We're going to die. Sorry. What is your view of what heaven and the new earth will be like? 
Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> Does that mean you're an expatriate of the kingdom of heaven? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was thinking more in terms of Augusta National because I know I'd have to die in order to get there. You know? <laughs> so. That's funny. That's good.